Let's see. Python, fishnet, cd leela, and run leela. Okay, and let me refresh my browser or my chat window. As it's possible that I'm missing messages. Oh, it's working for you. Excellent. Cool. Um, not working for me, but that's because I just rebooted the server. It'll be back momentarily. I, the reason I started up the LeechS instance again here, instead of just letting it run, is because eventually Linux will detect that your old um, shell is no longer uh, interactive. And so it will attempt to kill WeChess um, because nobody's interacting with it. Not end users over the internet, but just that from this point of view where I launched um, WeChess from, um, that point of view is no longer an active shell. Okay, so I think the server uh, should be back up here. We see, in fact, welcome back. So, yeah, we'll give this a shot, eh? Um, whoa, not unlimited. Unlimited can be a bit extreme. But, yeah. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. Um, or I suppose I could just put a seek out in the lobby if that's more convenient. Uh, let me just put the seek out there. Wait, it said I had a game. That was weird. Um, apparently I panicked on that. Also, where's my sound? Okay, there's my sound. Uh, okay. Hey look, we got a game. Maybe. Kind of, sort of. Um, cannot re receive of undefined. All right. Um, so, does anybody remember what this JavaScript error is all about? Um, let's see. Okay, so that captures everything. So this is what I'm worrying. Not worrying. This is what I'm wondering about. Cannot receive or cannot read property socket receive of undefined. Um, is this one of these things that we've seen and dealt with and fixed before, or is this new? Um, object receive at socket.js. Um, I have the sense that this kind of sort of looks familiar. Huh. I must have broken something, guys. Don't know what. Also, let's see. Maybe Nightbot can reply here. Okay, Nightbot is responding, so at least my chat window works. So, yeah, I don't know what's the deal with this. Um, I'm trying to remember if ever I had to fix something related to this. Round socket receive. It sounds like we got a socket that's round. No. I just, because that's not what round means here. Round refers to a collection of some sort, but, um, or a notifier of some sort. I don't know. Um, socket receive. Wait, round is undefined, is the deal. So, how do I define round prior to that uh, line of code getting invoked? Or should that line of code not be invoked? Um, you want to play chess sounds through your headphones 
and YouTube out of your speakers. Unfortunately, um, that sounds like it depends both on the operating system and on the software you're using. And I don't claim to be a Windows expert. And I don't claim to be like a Windows Media Player or iTunes or whatever expert either. Um, so I don't know the answer. Although I'm sure if you gave me a computer and a couple months, I could make some progress on figuring that out. Um, um, but yeah, Windows is kind of complicated, unfortunately. Yeah, no, that's fine. I'm just saying, like, um, yeah. A person doesn't necessarily need to be smart um, to be successful at that sort of thing, and or vice versa. Um, so, yeah, if I were smart, I would know what to do with this error. <laughs> other than say, hey, look, that looks like an error. Um, but part of that's that I just haven't done so much with JavaScript um, and Mithril and just figuring out how to do all the things, uh, how to trigger all the side effects and make sure things are working. Because um, I get the sense that seeing this empty page is probably not the expected outcome. No, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. I I personally don't care. I'm just being pedantic for stupid reasons. Hey, Mr. Corrupted. So, I have this instance of a Lee Chess game or yeah, flick chess game on Lee Chess. Um, and I don't know how to fix this. <laughs> Cannot read property socket receive of a uh, round which is undefined. Um, like where does round even get defined? What, how, okay down here apparently, round is equal to Lee Chess round Oh shit, that sounds really familiar. Lee chess round is not defined. That sounds familiar. Um, uh, I remember something about that because there's like chess ground and then um, there's flick ground and then there's Lee chess round somehow in all of this. Yeah. Oh. So I'm going to attack this from the command shell. Um, so let's get this shell along with my other shell here. Just get everything in one nice convenient place where I can toggle between everything with the keyboard. Grip WR leech us round in modules. Not there. Um, in UI? Okay. The reference is to Lee Chess Round there. Um, view UI round gulp file. Um, I have this sense that at one point this standalone thing was renamed from Lee Chess Round to Flick Ground. I just don't remember if it was uppercase, lowercase, mixed case, or what. Um, I guess I could experiment with all the possibilities. UI round gulp file.js. Let's go over to GitHub and see what this UI round gulp file normally contains. Um, actually, let's go over to, if I can find it, N Holbert. Leela, um, and see what this contains here. UI, what was the name of this? UI round gulp file. Is 
So here he calls it Leech Us Round. But I could swear that that's not the name of it. Um. Okay. Let me look at the history of this. Um. Can I get the complete version of the older version of this? Standalone is Leech Us Analyze here. Um, should I just try things and see what sticks? Actually, grab WR Flick Ground in modules? No. Uh, grab WRI Flick Ground. Actually, I should have been looking in, not in modules, but in UI. No. Let's do a case insensitive search. Okay, we found something. Yeah, I'm just going to assume I can replace these instances with the other thing. Around gulp file. Replacing leech us round with flick ground. Um, and then do this in UI flick gulp file. And do this again in UI flick node flick ground. Oh, now I'm touching generated or downloaded code. Um, Game aborted. Understandable. Um, and then do a UI build. Let's see how that does. Hopefully it imports all the right stuff. Um, Yeah, I think some of these were called like Leech Us Analyze and all the various things. Um, did I get the latest version? Build is failing right now. Oh. Um, I think I'm getting the version not out of uh, in Holbert's chess ground. I think I'm getting it out of my chess ground, which I think is up to date, but I don't know if that is um, failing in any way. That's not it. Um, did I not create a Yeah, now I've got one. Uh, I told him we've already got one. So, leech us round. Is that defined anywhere in here? No. Mate. Have I made any changes compared to upstream? No, no, my fork is just something I'm capable of changing. Really, I didn't have any need to fork it, but I forked it anyway. Okay, so I've rebuilt the UI. Um, still, round is undefined. Which is trying to use handle. Wait. So round is equal to leech us round. Um, okay, that's not defined in UI. Oh, it's defined in public though. Um, Grip round is equal to in UI flick. Um, oops, I typoed. Let's try that again. So I'm confused. Well, let's take a look. Uh, 
actually, why don't I just delete main.js and regenerate it? All right, so I'm deleting it, rebuilding that file. Hopefully deleting that file isn't a big problem. If somehow that still fails to build, maybe, oh wait. Okay, yeah, I just do still have that up. I got confused about um, the state of my network. So I think when I'm building these UI files, they get deployed into the public folder. Um, okay. Um, Uh, let's see, uh, do I even have a page? Am I missing main.js entirely? Force refresh, control F5. Um, perhaps I even have some assets in the Nginx container at this point. But no, Nginx should just be looking at the files in the folder. Um, Let's see, word count. Okay, main.js does not exist. That can't be good. Uh, clear git status. Um, git checkout. The main.js. I don't know like how this main.js got delivered here. Um, but I'm going to assume I can do the same find and replace here that's been done elsewhere. Um, status. Okay, do I get a page now? I get more of a page. Get diff shows all the things that changed. Um, they're mostly JavaScript things. All right. Um, Force refresh, refresh, um, inspect. So we're still looking at um, where is round defined again? Round equals flick ground, which is apparently not the right way to invoke it. Um, so, does anybody know <laughs> how I'm going to manage to fix this? Um, here, so we're going to change directory to UI, take a look inside flip ground, inside source, and see what we got. View main.js. Um, window.chessground is equal to require flip ground. So chessground should be defined with a capital C and a lowercase g. Um, uh, so let's try that. Public JavaScript main.js. Uh, flick. So this needs to say probably chess ground. Let's try that. Refresh. Um, okay. Round is equal to chess ground. Chess ground is still undefined. Chess ground, see if. I want something. I'm not sure what, though. I'm just randomly guessing things, unfortunately. Um, we just, maybe this was correct. Maybe this does need to be 
uh, Lee Chess Round. Uh, and maybe the other things I changed, I shouldn't have changed. Uh, get status on just the UI flick directory. Get diff on just the UI flick directory. Um, I mean, that, no, this is the gulp file to determine what to download. Incorrect. Um, so, um, flick uh, source round. Grab ound. Got all kinds of ounds here. Chess ground equals require flick ground. I mean, I could try chess ground, I guess. All lowercase, maybe. Maybe that's defined in my context. Window.chess ground should be defined within main.js as being um, just importing the flick ground library. Um, I wonder. Also, uh, if I search the public directory, is Flickground even deployed? Uh, I'm going to wager no. So what confuses me, though, is that I saw this main.js and that um, the other main.js um, are very, very different in content. Uh, side by side, you can compare them and see just how different they are. So one of them has a bajillion lines of code, uh, closure, compiler, advanced optimizations, etc. The other um, says go import some things get a controller, etc. and so these can't possibly be the same file. Um, get diff on Leela public. Yeah, I don't know where to go. Oh no, I could go back to GitHub. Uh, so I forked from N. Holbert Flickground. Oh, but I can't search this repository. I have to search it from a command line here. Uh, I guess under node modules. Grip for leeches round here? No. Uh, how about here? Still no luck. So yeah, I'm confused as to something being broken. This sounds familiar. I'm still racking my brain trying to think of what, but I seem to be stuck. <sighs> That's unfortunate. Because without that, um, what am I supposed to do? Um, can you try building main JS with the debug option. Okay. Um, Oh, a possibility could be that I might have missed something while merging this file. Um, wait, how do I turn on debugging?
gulp task dev. Okay, so it'd be um, so my task I think is the flick task. Um, there's so much abstraction and in, oh here we are npm install and then gulp target um, so you're saying put dev after that in order to get debug um, level stuff now this reminds me though um, what was it when I initially tried to get this working I think I observed something very very similar and I ended up posting on the Lee Chess forum and I got a response back about it. Um, so we're going to see if I can find my previous post. It's probably easier to go, go look for the other person's post, but I don't remember their Lee Chess name. Um, flick chess variant. Okay. Um, hmm. No, that was actually a different error message. Ah. So, yeah, looking in the forum is actually not going to help. Running gulp dev should be enough. It doesn't minify the files. As in, like, gulp target dev or just gulp dev uh, should be enough. Um, I guess I've already done the install step. So I need to change directory into UI flick and then do gulp dev. Okay. C uh, D into UI flick gulp dev. Okay, finish dev. Now what? <laughs> I assume I still have to install something, right? Um, could look at what got produced I guess or do I have to do like gulp flick dev no just gulp dev apparently task flick is not in your gulp file okay Uh, building the main.js file. Okay, so that's what we built. But I thought main.js is in source, right? Like my... Uh, if I'm listing things here, um, I'm not seeing what got built. Unless it already got delivered somehow. Like, how would Gulp know where to put this main.js? That's what has me confused, because there's no way it managed to uh, put this in the proper directory. Yeah. If you look, um, the last time main.js was built or put there is different than the last time I issued a command. Um, so, oh wait, no, I'm sorry, build, uh, gulp, uh, main.js dev is what you're saying. No, main.js is not my gulp file. What does my gulp file have in it? Oh, I have dev, return browser if I, source, okay, yeah, but where does it put this? Destination is up two levels into public compiled. Okay. Up two levels. 
public compile. Um, so, um, I don't see a main.js there. I see a flickground.js. Um, locate flickground.js to see where this normally goes. Um, I'm assuming this flickground.js has probably got to go um, inside the public JavaScript directory. Uh, ls public compiled leechs.flick.js yeah where is that linking to it's looking to flink flick ground um, which is in that same public compiled directory okay how do I know whether or not I'm receiving that file? Like you were saying that this, I should expect to find a main.js here. Um, or sorry, I need to build main.js as uh, dev, but I honestly don't know whether the developer intended for Flickground to produce a main.js or if he's somehow falling back to main.js to the main chess ground. Um, that I don't know and that's actually kind of important. Um, public JavaScripts? So... What do we have here? We do have a main.js that was compiled a while ago, but we do not have a flick ground. I think I could just take flick ground and drop it on top of main.js. Um, it's about four times the size of main.js, but um, honestly, where else could main.js have come from? Um. <laughs> Find print prep main.js. That's also not helpful. Um, yeah, it could have come from any one of these places, unfortunately. Um, Yeah, what I don't know if is if main if flickground is intended to be a replacement for main.js. Probably not. Now main.js must reference chess ground or flickground or whatever. Um, I mean, if we want to see the source, uh, here's the source. It's right here. Uh, But I don't know um, how that's supposed to work. Flick source flick ground, or what do we have here? Main.js here. Um, Window.chessground is equal to require flick ground. Um, so yeah, I don't know how this works. This is the flickground version of main.js. Right. 
I'm just trying to figure out, like, there is no Lee chest round here. Um, what should I even expect there to be? There's a window dot chest ground. Um, I mean, yeah, we could look at this, like you're saying, the public JavaScript main.js, here it is. But what does this even tell us? I don't know. I mean, we found this line of code. We saw the same thing in the browser, but I don't know what it tells us. I'm not sure where to go with this. I was trying to take a more bottom-up approach to find, like, what are the pieces I would need to assemble and where would I need to put them for this to work. But, you know, we could try top-down, like, okay, this line of code doesn't work. Why is this line of code failing sort of approach? Um, not even sure if that's uh, top-down versus bottom-up, but... Um, just two different approaches that could be taken to try to figure this out. One is looking at this and trying to guess, like, where, where is Lee Chess round? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I will share that I was terribly confused by something. Although, no, I am up to date now. So, we have reviewed everything. Uh, uh, like, Gulp Files is a standalone as Lee Chess round. Um, which is something he committed some number of days ago. Oh, hang on, hang on. I created a branch here of, because I didn't have any idea, like, couldn't make heads or tails of how his stuff worked. So I thought I created a branch to try to fix this shit. Um, did I not? I'm not seeing it anywhere. Um, I'm so confused. Yeah, I don't know. I think Lee Chess Round was his initial attempt at developing this. Um, and then realized he's just got to replace the entire uh, chess ground um, with his own version. I was so confused how this worked at one point. Now granted, I just rebased stuff, but... Like, what the heck? I mean, yeah, this is all JavaScript. It's all exciting stuff, but... Um... This does concern me that he replaced chess ground with Lee chess round. I don't know where that's supposed to come from. Flick ground git, which is what we're looking at, although we're looking at my fork of his repository, but we're both on the same version of the code. Um, Let me just... Uh, actually, I've edited the gulp file already. Um, let's 
see, view uh, the build. So maybe what's confusing this is the fact that I'm compiling both flick and round. No, that can't be it, can it? Is this the stuff that confused me earlier? No, round is necessary, flick is necessary. This original UI build file makes this clear, and it did work at one point. I think what had to be taken out at one point here was chess, which was chess ground, because flick ground replaces that. Um... Okay, so here's all the main.js's. There's game source main.js, editor source main.js. Um, yeah, there's just too much. There's chess source main.js. Uh, but I think that, again, this build file had to have chess removed from it because that was conflicting with uh, Flick. And I'm not seeing chess there, which is okay, that's good. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and assume I've got to just... Um, do this as well. All right, and then s invoke UI build. <laughs> now we'll see if this pulls in this leech us round thing again. Um, maybe it will. Either way, it's looking like I'm stuck. So either it's going to all pass and be successful and I won't have any idea what to do next, other than try to test this just from a browser and see if I can get a game going. Um, or I won't be able to make any progress on this for quite some time. funny how close I am to the goal line and yet how far. Let's force a refresh. I get the same message I'm sure. Um, I can go, I don't need this forum post. Um, grip, WR, leeches, ground in the UI. It's not there. I thought Flick Ground, I thought Leechus Round was his initial name for his special round processing for Flick Chess. So the idea, I thought, and I'm guessing a lot here because there's no documentation to support the idea, uh, I thought that Leechus Round was his initial attempt at. Um, trying to do flick chess. And then he decided that flick ground made a much better name than Lee chess round made. Um, um, but yeah, I do not know. out with Nipshock uh, status 
Don't know how I got all these local changes in here. Um, let's try this. Somehow I got an inordinate number of local changes. Um, grip for leech us round in here, maybe? No. Um, get remote. So. Get modules. References my version of scale of chess. But yeah, that's just the scale of chess rule set. That's just the game rules. That's not the UI. What am I thinking? Um, but yeah, the more and more I look at this, the more confused I get. Right now, flick ground builds into a module called Leechess Round. And that module is missing. Um, you understand this better than I do. Um, so these are all the modules I think that are installed into Leechess, or all the repositories submodules. Um, None of the yeah these don't have anything to do with UI. I can leave this. Um, I don't understand. Um, let me go back to the UI directory because that's where our issue is. So make directory public slash compiled build all the stuff to that directory um, wait is there not a public compiled directory target equals dollar uh, one hyphen dev um, But the public directory is up a level. So here's public compiled. It is up a level. It's right here. It's got flick ground. It's got leechus.flick.js, which I just have hot. Uh, I have as a symbolic link to flick ground. Uh, there's leechus.round.js. You'd like to see the game.js that gets compiled into yeah I'm not sure which one that is I found like 200 main.js's oh but you're saying the game.js let me see if I can find a game.js for you find uh, UI print grep game.js alright so any bets on which one the, it is? Um, might it be this one? This UI flick, etc. Um. I guess it wouldn't hurt to take a look. So, I mean, this defines a lot of functions, I guess. That's cool. Um, We 
have a flick chess variant. We have a flick ground module. Um, I'm not entirely familiar with um, what it is that causes us to load one versus loading the other. I think, well, no, I'm guessing at this point. I don't know. I would assume there's something in the app directory that says if we're playing a variant of flick chess, load one set of one version of the code, one version of JavaScript libraries, and if we're playing any other variant other than flick uh, chess, then load um, just the normal flick ground. I think that's how it works. Unfortunately, a developer committed like 200 changes, no, actually over a thousand changes under a single commit message. So it got a little tricky for me to follow. Um, so I'm um, a bit confused on a lot. There's like a UI game, game.js. I mean, there's things about is a game playable? Does it have a player playing? Is it drawable? Is it resignable? Can the player go berserk? And so forth. Um, I can can I gulp dev flick and check if the file looks different in Chrome? Um, okay. So if I go, you're saying that if I'm in this directory UI flick, can I type gulp dev or gulp dev flick? No, just gulp dev. Oh, okay, using gulp file, starting dev, finish dev, um, and then we want to see is public compiled version of that code, uh, hang on, um, of whatever it is that we just compiled, if we ended up compiling anything at all. Um, Okay, so we compiled flickground.js. That's available in the public compiled directory um, with a byte count of 231862. Um, and so you're wondering, can I see if uh, something I've got in my browser is somehow different? Um, so where would I go? Copy, and then go to my browser, try to view this in a new tab, and try to see, like, is this file any different, I guess? Maybe, I'm not sure. I guess I could look at this and look at um, flick ground. Wait, where am I? public compiled flick ground. I mean, to me that looks kind of sort of similar, right? Check out the source tab. Sources, okay. Um, JavaScripts. This one? So this is what we're asking about. I want to find like that flick ground thing here somewhere. Vendor? No, that's not it. That wouldn't make sense anyway. Um, no domain? No. Um, I 
I'm not sure what I'm looking for, but I don't see the file that I just compiled. Like, down here, I don't see anything mentioning a flick ground. So, the thing I compiled as dev isn't here, as far as I can tell. These are all the JavaScripts we have. So, I mean, what can I try? Um, because I'm pretty sure that's all the JavaScripts I'm working with at the moment. Um, oh, are these modules? I thought these were JavaScript files. I hate to play stupid here, but, like, how do I know what a module is? Um, I just see that leeches.flick.js is not listed here. And that's the file that we're looking at on the left here is the one that we just compiled. Um, and I don't see that or anything even resembling it here. Leeches uses Browserify. Oh, that's true. I did see a reference to Browserify. Compiles into Node JS like modules. Okay. I guess that makes some sense. So it takes our the code that we generated and builds Node.js like modules out of it. Uh, to deliver to the client. Um Don't know where I'd go to find some of this, but um, mm -hmm. I wonder if that means that my assets are being served up from, not from my, no, that wouldn't make sense. Let's just say they're being served up from the static content server. But that absolutely would not happen. I would have noticed that sort of thing long ago. Um... Oh, okay, here it is, even like cannot find module, etc. in the generated code. But here this just says cannot read property socket received of undefined. But again, like, okay, does this have import statements or something? We're looking at main.js. Surely this must import things at some point. Um, control.js. Theme picker. Um, leech has sound, games, game.js. Yeah. I was about to say, it looks like these are inline files. Okay. Um, so if I want to search example for grep um, game.js in the app directory, maybe? Uh, no. Would that actually be in the UI directory? that browser if I is invoked from. Or would that be in modules? No. Okay.
public JavaScript's main.js. Oh. Wait, what? Okay, so somehow main.js must be generated by the UI build step. Okay, is this the file we're looking for in Chrome? Is this it? Um, I mean, anybody who connects to the site should have access to this file, right? Am I just imagining, like, what is the file that I'm looking for? Is this the file? GameList.js, Tournament.js, User Analysis.js, Study, Practice, Puzzle. Um, Control.js, Game.js, Game List, Tournament, Simul, User Analysis, Study, Practice, Puzzle. Um, but nowhere in all this is there any mention of flicking or of chess ground. Um, so I don't know how like this file gets generated. Um, oh, I'm sorry, you're asking not to look at the file. You're asking, you like to see what file it is on the Linux file system that gets delivered um, to any client, be it Chrome or any other client. Um, I assume that the file that's getting delivered is this public JavaScript's main.js, but I have no idea what compiles that. Um, Like, it looks like this does some parallel execution to build all these various modules. But once those are built, then what? Like, what's the point of even doing that? idea. I think that's where I'm stuck. I could keep trying to bang my head away at this, but I'm, I'm not making any headway with it. Um, and I agree that is the relevant question. I just don't know where to go. Um, build.sh calls ui slash build and I think that's the extent of what's necessary to um, I mean I could look at some of these other things like build dependencies but I think that just imports the modules not that are related to UI not the ones that relate to UI but the ones that don't relate to UI the Leela modules that do all the backend processing and compiles those. Um, I think what we're looking at doing is quite different. But I guess it wouldn't hurt to verify that. I'm just going way, way out on a limb here. There's no bloody way that this um, it just does anything related to JavaScript. That doesn't even seem reasonable for this to be touching that. Like, this deals with like Kmon monitoring, and so this isn't the right place. Um, so, build step other than getting the submodules, compiling the Leela submodules, compiling Leela, uh, invoking UI slash build. 
and then doing some image op, uh, optimization. I mean, that's the extent of it. So either main.js doesn't get generated, which seems ludicrous, or UI build is somehow responsible for its generation. But there's nothing in UI build that generates main.js as far as I can see. This is my point of confusion. Leechus round is defined in leechus round min.js. Uh, Um, that's interesting. Leech us round.min.js. Should just, no. Um, public leech us round. I'm not sure where leechus round min.js comes from, as I can't seem to find it on my file system. Now granted, I could update my locate database. I probably should. I guess it wouldn't hurt for me to do that. Uh, so let's do that. It'll only take a second. I'm going to switch back to leechus. Back to Leela UI flick. Let's say, can we locate this leechus round stuff? No, that doesn't exist on my file system. Um, but okay, it does look like it, hmm. wherever that file comes from, you're finding leechus round in it, even though I don't have this file. So I'm confused again. Um, but, yeah. Um, honestly, my best bet is probably just asking the original developer, uh, and Holbert for assistance with this. Because, um, yeah, I'm not sure how some of this stuff builds and what depends on what and where to put everything. Um, try building UI around. I'll do it again. I guess there's no harm in doing it. Uh, uh, oh, wait. Uh, so, view UI build. This would just normally execute on its own. Um, do build and I mean, if I do this, this is going to build UI round again. So let's do that. UI build. This builds chat, challenge, notify, learn, and everything else. Um, so this builds the learn, chat to, challenge to, notify to. Insight, flick, puzzle, round. There's a round getting built. Um, and everything else is getting built too. So, okay, that's built again. Um, so I've built UI round. Um, I guess let's update my locate database again, switch user again, change directory back to where we were, and say locate, and I'm not finding a leechus round min.js. So maybe that's something I had at one point, maybe in trying to bring my copy of everything up to the latest version, I lost that. Um, either way, I'm kind of stuck.
I think. I just don't know what to do here. And I'm sorry to keep putting all this pressure and to keep coming up with the answers. I'm, I don't expect that we are able to address this at this instant, really. Uh, it's not like I'm pushing for answers and saying we have to answer this immediately. Uh, I keep saying I'm stuck as in, like, uh, unless you're super, super ultra attached to keeping this moving at the moment, um, I'm more than comfortable setting this aside and just asking for help. Um, and whenever help is available, then, it, um, then trying to make progress at that time. Uh, unfortunately, that means that this is going to be delayed a bit, but I don't know what else to try. So I'm confused. How, how do you know that Leech's round is defined in a file that doesn't exist? I... There's something I'm not understanding. No, that's fine. No, that's okay. But I'm thinking that maybe the best path is to just accept that um, without help from the original developer that this is kind of stuck. Because you're guessing and I'm guessing and I think everybody is guessing. Um, ultimately, what I know that I can do is I can start doing back-end development uh, when I have the effort, energy, and time for it um, to try to start simulating the physics and then revamping the front end to use the updated back end. But on the other hand, um, I know that's going to be an enormous endeavor. And so I'm putting that off until basically all my other projects are in motion. Um, um, I saw today there was interesting somebody shared a new um, uh, framework they're working on a TensorFlow application for um, trying to predict a player's moves um, and they say just provided a database of games and um, somehow it uses a series of metrics to come up with um, a move that a human would play in a given situation which sounds like an interesting uh, concept I agree you know, it would have to be implemented in Scala and JavaScript and have to result in exactly the same result. Um, and it would have to work in all browsers, which I don't even know if the current implementation does. Um, basically, the, uh, I'm predicting failure on that project. Um, I'm predicting it will not go any better than the current state we're currently in. Um, it sounds like an impossible task. Um, I'm up for trying it, but I don't think it's going to be successful. But I'm saying that's what I'm able to contribute. Um, and I think what the other developer could contribute is helping me get off the ground getting their code up to the latest version of the Lee Chess code. Um, and addressing this silly error message that they've probably seen before a hundred times and they probably know exactly what it means and exactly how to address it so we're not left guessing and um, maybe in our guessing we might do something wrong too um, it's probably much better to reach out than it is to keep struggling with this um, so I'm thinking that's probably the best course of action if that's okay Just share, like, um, c 
because I'm not a JavaScript developer. I, I understand the concepts between having a language and having types and having references that are defined or not defined. I get that. I just don't have the practical skill to address this sort of issue. And only somebody who's actually developed the library can explain what's going on. Um, uh, I think that's probably the best way to go with this. Um, well, <clears throat> okay. Three hours ago, I started rebasing um, the code changes. Uh, his code changes upon the latest. Oh, yeah, no, I'm sure. And unless you can. T <laughs> I'm sure he knows exactly that this is a hosting bug. I'm sure he can provide exact pinpointed assistance as to like what I'm messing up. Neither you nor I have any idea of like how this is all put together. I mean, we all understand how applications work. We understand like how web servers work, how but we're not familiar with um what files are expected to be generated by which modules and where. And the original author would be the person who would know this. And obviously it's a hosting issue, obviously a file that's either, I mean, I'm, it might not even be a hosting issue. I have to take that back actually. Um, because I was able to verify in public slash JavaScripts, um, what was it? I was able to verify here. Um, damn it, I know I've seen this before. What the heck? Where am I? It's like public compiled. But I thought that there is similarly in public slash JavaScript something. Um, again, I don't know where this would all be. But no, uh, Flickground is definitely there. Leechus.flick.js is definitely there. If you want, I'll make another link here. If this makes you feel any better, I'm not sure. LNS hs.flick.min.js just link, link that to Flickground. Um, I got the syntax backwards. Uh, Flickground.js. Okay, there. We now we've got a leechs flick min.js. Do you want me to make another file? I, I don't know. That can't possibly fix the issue. It's not a hosting issue. files there. If you need, I could even make that, I mean, I could actually go to my browser and download this file. It's certainly there. I just don't know what it is in these other files that's supposed to reference that file. And checking that the file was there is one of the, well, one of the things we ended up doing in the first hour. Um, Um, let's see, where do I go to, I think it's in uh, the server public compile leeches.flick.js. Uh, or is it flick.leechs? I'm forgetting. Leechs.flick.js is in public compiled. Um, but I think that's assets. That's aliased somewhere to assets or asset or 
public assets or assets. Somewhere there's a routes file. I think this is even in the nginx.conf file. Um, view etc nginx nginx. Um, yeah, so if you try to go to the assets path, it's going to go to public. So if you want to get this file, you go to assets compiled. And it's right there. The file's definitely there. If I want min.js, that's there too, because I created the symbolic link. The file's definitely there, but the question is what file's supposed to be linking to it and how. And I don't know. Like, to me, this doesn't look like a hosting bug because the file's there. But there might not be the right place. You're right about that. Maybe it, maybe this file needs to be somewhere else. I don't know. But one thing that stands out here is that all these other modules um, are right here in the same directory. So surely this is the place where compiled modules should be. Um, otherwise all the other aspects of the site would all be broken too. If this, if, unless this entire directory gets copied to somewhere, I don't know. Um, but that's why I was doing like searching for like I could say locate leechs.opening.js and we'll see all the places that leechs.opening.js is deployed and within the home leela uh, directory uh, it's only deployed in their leela public compiled yeah no, it's not a hosting issue it's a question of what's going on in the code but even if it were a hosting issue this is an application he's hosted before. He created a video of himself playing this game, so he knows how to host it. Um, you could certainly take my code and duplicate. Yeah, I don't think... I mean, even if it is an easy fix, we have no idea what the easy fix is. And he would know... He could take my code, put it on his machine, and figure out, probably in five minutes, what's going on. Whereas I've been stuck here for how long? Two hours, 17 minutes. Um, and I'm still making no headway. It makes sense for me to reach out, even if there is an easy fix, even if it is a hosting issue, even if all these various things, he would know a thousand times better than you or I about this particular piece of code. It makes sense for me to reach out and try to set this aside and say I've made some progress but I managed to break it again uh, and does he have any idea like just how I badly have messed it up or something it probably is something easy too which is another reason why um, it makes sense for me to hand it over to him to just get another set of eyes looking at it so that we're not trying to shoot in the dark I actually have some coworkers who um, are willing to spend days at a time guessing how something works and completely unwilling to write an email or pick up a phone or something until like, I don't know, 30 minutes before a deadline. It's amazing how some of these people operate. Um, and no matter how kind and receptive and motivating we attempt to be with these people, they, I don't know, it just doesn't make sense. And sometimes experience just has to be the most brutal of teachers. Because eventually they do ask for help. Like, once they're already completely screwed, um, then they start asking for help. I just don't understand that mindset. Anyway, I think in this case it makes sense for me to ask for help. Um, um, upon a 
recent Leela master and upon a recent uh, that's not true whatever and uh, Leela slash what was that other module it wasn't Leela it was um, it's not chess JS it's not chess ground uh, Scala chess and now I encounter the other beautiful thing about this is forum um, even if one person doesn't understand doesn't have the answer even if two people don't have the answer um, uh, so uh, eventually somebody's gonna have some idea how to do this feel free to anonymous me create a game at the site um, into browsers uh, click chess game and observe the error for yourself Or download a uh, code from my GitHub and experiment with it. Thanks. So, yeah, this is the power of the internet. There's a billion people on the other end of a wire. One of them's going to have an answer. It might not even be a perfect answer, but I tried. Um, I really did try. And I am going to leave the server up and running so people can connect and experiment with it. And uh, if somebody can figure it out, more power to them. I've got other things I want to do. So let's see, what time is it? Okay, we do have time for another game. Uh, so I'm going to take a quick break and I'll be back. Uh, see you next time.